Next, when you're seated, check that you have your question paper, your diskit, and your printing paper. Check that you have the correct number of pages in the question paper. If everything is correct, write your name, index number and class at the top of the question paper. Check that your diskette is working properly. Insert the diskette into the floppy drive. Click on my computer. And click on the three and a half floppy drive. Read the instructions in the question paper carefully. Do as you are instructed. When you are done, put a tick on the question paper to indicate that you have completed that instruction. Save your file as you go along so that you do not lose any of your work. Save all your work in the floppy disk. When you're ready to print, take note of your printing paper. It has a blank page where you will be printing out your work. And behind it is a printed page where you'll be writing your name, class, and index number. When you're ready to print, ensure that the printer is on and put the paper with the printed page facing up. Before printing, always check the print preview. When everything is okay, send your work for printing by clicking on the print button. Do not touch the paper while it's being printed. If there's any problem, put your hand up and wait for the invigilator or teacher to come and assist you. Remember to write your name, index number and class at the back of your printout. You'll be given a string to tie all your printouts together. Tie it up neatly and make sure that it is a strong knot. Once you finish tying, check that your string will not come loose by tugging on it. Prepare your diskette, your printouts, and your question paper and wait for your turn for the emulator to come and collect everything from you. Okay, both of us would just like to say good luck to your exams! Yeah!
Yeah. Not just in CPA. Every subject also. Yeah. All the best. Do your best. Do your best. <laughs>